Hi, I'm Jackie. If you're feeling old and stiff, well, don't worry, you're not alone. I have so many students in their 70s and 80s. They come to my class every week. They feel better after. Uh, do, do what I say. <laughs> Just do what I say and do this video and, and you'll, see what I've, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll feel for yourself. You'll feel for yourself that you can feel younger. You can feel mentally and physically really good, well into old age, but you've got to put the work in. Put the work in. Do it. You need a chair and you need some kind of strap and um, maybe a pillow and a bit of time. Not, not very long. Turn the mobile off. Do it. Starting with the strap. Bring your feet a good hip width apart, parallel, spread your toes. And then we're doing some shoulder mobility. Inhale, fi find that stretch. And then exhale, releasing. Now, make sure you don't arch into your lower back. We're trying to target our shoulders here. So most people, stiffer people, go to about there and they get the stretch. So try to not do this to get your arms right up. So just let's just keep the lower back neutral and just target that thoracic. We don't want to get stiff here because when we get stiffer in the thoracic, we get stiff in our shoulders and that will go into our neck and also our lower back because everything's connected as, as you all know, everything's connected. Three more shoulder mobility. Really good. Just feeling the stretch and releasing. Just taking it to your edge, touching the stretch. You should go a bit further as you repeat the exercise. Last one, hold 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, keep breathing steadily. Three, two, one. Good work. Have the strap behind you like this. Step your right foot forward and just lean forward a bit. So you feel a little stretch in your shoulders at the front. And then a little bit in your right leg. Maybe your left calf muscle and a little bit in your lower back. Just coming in and out of that one. Two more. Just holding your shoulders back, keeping your back strong and straight. And then hold. Ten. Nine. Just feeling that stretch. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back to here. Lift, see if you can get a little bit more opening out. Five, four, three, two, one, and then releasing. My neighbours just started whippersniffering. Oh well. <laughs> We'll put up with that. <laughs> you probably can't even hear it. <laughs> the show goes on. <laughs> so coming into left foot forward now, or your other foot forward, the strap behind you, shoulders down, and then just, just touching your stretch. Maybe you feel a bit in the calf, the ankle, the left hamstrings, the shoulders. Just moving your spine, stimulating blood flow. The main benefit is just moving, stimulating blood, lymph, oiling up 
the tight joints. Two more. The older we get, the harder it is, but the more we need it. Hold, 10, just breathe steadily. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. We'll need the strap for later when we come down to the floor. So just put that to the side for now. Now I'm going to release the side to side. Try to have feet together, feet, feet touching, and it's reaching up like that. So if you're a bit stiffer, you'll feel enough stretch there. Try not to do this. So it's, it's not extending, it's not jamming the lower back. It's just side to side. Reaching one arm up, one arm down. If you don't feel stable with your feet together, just bring them hip width. It's a bit more stable. But feet together, you get a little bit more stretch. You can choose. Remember, the main thing is just moving, as I said before, stimulating blood flow, oiling up, feeling our best every day. We know life is short. We want to enjoy every day. And then hold, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, five, four, three, two, one. Standing up nice and straight. Already what you've done is really good for your, your um, brain, your spine, which is extension of your brain. Get your chair. and stretching forward like this. Have your feet a good hip width and try to reach your tailbone back and the crown of the head forward. Wag the tail a little bit and then tuck the tail under and then lift it up and down and up and then hold. Really straightening out here. You feel it a bit in your shoulders and lengthening your lower back. You can bend your knees if it's a bit too strong in your legs. Try to feel your spine lengthening. Couple more breaths. Try to breathe in and out through the nose most of the time. Very good work, very good work. Okay, so the next one we're going to have the seat of the chair like this. Watch me first. If you know yoga, it's up dog, down dog with the chair. So like that, it's like a variation of up dog, so you're arching your back. You, tr you should feel a bit of a stretch in the belly. And then it's not down dog, but it's like your head down like that and then do about eight of them. Make it feel good You're using your arm muscles gently. Exhale, head down and then head up, inhale, looking up, trying to keep your bent back bending in both flexion and extension and side bending and twisting, which we'll be doing later. Just a few more. Just go to your edge, make it feel good. And then we'll hold the extension, the arching, the lifting, 10, Two, one, and then holding hands on the seat. You might bend your knees to get more length through your spine. Try and get that flexibility into the back of the legs and lower back. 
a little bit shoulders and thoracic as well. Keep trying to spread your toes while you're here. One more breath. Two more standing and then we'll do some on the floor. So the first one is a lunge. So if you're not used to it, you will need the chair. I'll show you. Like that. So you're bending the front leg and notice my back toes are tucked under. And the stretch is at the front of the, the hip. So if, you're, if your right leg's back, the right hip flexes. Okay, and you can reach the right arm up to get a bit more if you like. Both arms up is also an option, but I'm just doing everything really gentle today for stiff, catering for very stiff people, which a lot of my students are. That's fine. And then the other side, so the other foot back, and you can reach that, both hands on the chair, try and get that stretch up the front of the hip. And you can have one arm up if you like, the same arm as the leg that's back, and both arms as option. And trying to get that hip flexor stretch. This is very, very good because it prevents uh, pulling down into your lower back a, a stiffening. It, it slows down aging in your hips and spine. Mitigates too much sitting. Okay, because if you if you lower if your hip flexors get tight, it pulls you in that direction. So it's good. that's a great one. Put a few lunges into your day. <laughs> Break up sitting. And the next one, if you're a bit more flexible, you can just grab the foot and pull the heel in. But a lot of my students need the strap. So you just step your foot over and just hook. See like that? And so try to get a stretch in the quads and you might try to balance. So you might try to take the hand off the chair, but you've got it there or the wall, the chair or the wall. And then swap to, so some, some people could just, just grab the foot, but a lot of my students, there's nothing wrong with being stiff. It's okay. It's good to work on your flexibility. It does help you. It will help you in your really old age if you work on your flexibility and your balance. Maybe try to take your hand off the chair, working on your body because we know how important our body is to our everyday life. We just want to try to look after ourselves, try to feel our best every day for as long as possible. Very good. Okay, so we don't need the chair now, I don't think. <laughs> We're going to come down to the floor. Some people do need the chair to get down to the floor. So get yourself down to the floor, coming to all fours. This is a great one to have in your life. Really good for your discs. Your discs can get really thin throughout the day and throughout your life. So if you're plumping them up regularly with exercises like this, then you are looking after your spine and that's going to be looking after general health. Blood flow to the brain, moving more freely, your gut, your lymph flow, your gut flow, blood flow. Exhale, rounding, squeeze your belly. Inhale, look forward, feel a little pull on the belly, a lengthening and a lifting the chest and then squeeze your belly and chest and extend. Two more. Last one, cat cow. Great. Windscreen wiper, if you don't know it, you will if you're doing my exercise videos regularly, you'll know this one. That's for sure. 
feet one way, uh, knees one way. This is really, really good for your hips and your spine. Inhale, exhaling, twist. Have your feet a bit wider than hip width. I hope you're doing all my videos and not just the easy ones. Try some of the harder ones because I always give easier options for everybody. And the harder ones are a lot of strength work. Strength work is so important because if your muscles are weak, they're tense. They're tensing up all the time. So strong muscles are more relaxed. So make sure you're doing plenty of work on keeping your body strong, which I have a lot of videos for, over 137 videos to choose from. And they're all, you'll learn something off every video. You could do this every day. You could do it every couple of hours of every day and it'd only be good for your lower back and your hips. So try to have this in your life along with the cat cow, a few lunges, a few forward flexes, hands on the chair, hands on the kitchen bench, stretching your back out. Okay, that's great. The next one, we're going to have the strap and put it round the ball of your foot. Let's do right, let's do right foot. And just try to straighten out that knee. So if you're stiffer, it'll be, maybe look like, like, like that, but that's okay. Just um, do your best. Obviously, I'm not that stiff because I'm a yoga teacher. So just doing everybody, you're doing your best and focusing on not if you're good at, good at it or not. Yoga, most people aren't very good at yoga. Most people are stiff. But focus on how you feel when you're after you've finished and if you focus on that and you, and you focus on your future body with or without regular stretching and you know that you want you want to do it one more deep breath in and out here swapping over your feet and then keep keeping the shoulders down and try to straighten your leg and get a stretch. Your lower back's going, oh, thank you. I quite like this, thank you. Keep those shoulders down. That Try to keep your face soft and your breath steady in and out through the nose. We'll do one more deep breath in and out. You can put the strap away now. And then if you don't know rolling bridge, have a quick look at me, because I don't want you to try to look while you're doing it. Keep your neck centered and you come up vertebrae by vertebrae and then back down. About, I don't know, eight of them. You could do five of them. You could do ten of them. It doesn't matter too much. This is another very good anti-sitting pose, especially like the lunges, opening the hip flexors and extending your lumbar spine. We don't want it to get flatter as we get older. You want to keep that inward curve in the lumbar and gentle outward curve in the thoracic. We don't want that to get too strong. So the shoulder mobility was good. Really good for plumping up the discs when you've been sitting too much in the day and they've thinned out. Keeping our discs healthy. 
And then last one, squeeze your glutes. One more stretch and then a little, a little relax. So this is abductor stretch. This is very good if you have stiff hips and back. So bring, you might get a stretch there. Um, if you need more stretch, you, you, bring it, you bring it up like that. Take a few deep breaths, deeper and slower than your normal everyday breath, in and out through the nose. You can rock a little bit. No force, no, don't force your knees. And then one more breath in and out on this side. And then swap to the other hip. So you might do that much and get enough stretch. That some people need to do a little bit more. Last breath. Great. And we've got one more relaxation pose. And um, this, let's use that chair one more time. Because this one, this is really nice. So you put your legs up on the chair like this. It's very good to relax your lower back your hip flexors. Just have the palms of the hands facing up so your shoulders turn out a bit. If your neck feels too arched, have a pillow under your head. And just resting here, if you do this for a couple of minutes, you get more benefits into your body and your brain and your endocrine system, your inflammation, your pain levels. So resting, get into a relaxed state, the growth hormone comes up, the cortisol goes down, and there's a cascade of benefits through the brain and body, which are you know, slowing down aging, making us feel literally happier, more peaceful, more present, more calm. Practice steady, deep, conscious breaths, in and out through the nose. They don't, they don't have to be deep. If you have a lot of stress, deep breathing is helpful here and there. Otherwise, just watching your breath is also very calming. Nice relaxed belly, relaxed face. Just trying to hold our awareness and our breath because mental health is obviously so important and feeling peaceful is going to obviously help with mental health. Feeling more present in our life, more connected in the, in the present moment. We can practice that. We can work on that as much as we can work on our physical body, our flexibility and our balance and our fitness. If you need longer, just being with yourself in a caring way, then press stop on your device and stay for longer or lie flat on your back, or do any meditation. If you feel ready, roll to your side, 
pause. Push down through your hand. Sitting up. Pause. Just acknowledge your effort, your commitment, the time you've put in with all your choices of all the things you could do in your life. And this is important. There's always other things we could be doing. But just acknowledge in your mind, in your spine. Notice how you feel and keep up the videos. Please keep up the videos because I know it's going to help you in your life. So be disciplined, be committed. I will keep giving you good stuff. I specialise in the older people. <laughs> We're all getting older, aren't we lucky? Thank you so much.